All right, ladies and gentlemen, this question comes from uh, Jeffrey up in Cincinnati. And Jeffrey, I'm going to work this for you and for anyone else who's viewing it. Um, okay, so what he has is he's got this equation right here, which is in point-slope form, point-slope form. And he is supposed to put it in slope-intercept form. Okay, well... Here's what we do. Um, first, we know our point slope form is the way it is. It's already set. Now, we know we need to get it into slope intercept, which is y equals mx plus b. Whereas x and y will stay what they are. This is supposed to be a y. I can't write correctly. Sorry. Um, where x and y are just going to stay x and y, this is the slope, and this is the intercept. Now, as in their names, point slope formula means that they have the slope and they have a point on that line, okay? That 7 and that 3. Those are the, the x and the y um, that's on that line. This is the x and that's the y. And then, you know, certain ones are negatives. But we're not talking about that. We don't need to know that to know that we want to get it in slope-intercept form. We don't even have to know that it is in point-slope form. All we have to do is rearrange this equation to look like this equation, y equals mx plus b, which means y needs to be by itself. So our ultimate goal right now is to get y by itself, and there's no parentheses. So first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the parentheses. So I just distribute the negative 2 in there. So y plus 7 equals, and then negative 2 times x is negative 2x, and then negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. Remember, because a negative times a negative equals a positive. All right? Now, we don't have y by itself, so I need to get rid of what's over here with the y, which happens to be you, little fella, the number 7. How do I get rid of a positive 7? subtract 7. Now, I only have to subtract it from this, which gets rid of it, and then I just subtract it from the regular number. Now, if we were multiplying across the side or dividing, we'd have to divide each of these monomials, this one and this one, by that number. Now, since it's just adding and subtracting, we can just take it off of the chunk of it, which means we're just going to subtract it from that 6. Okay, so let's bring everything down. y equals negative 2x, and then 6 minus 7 is negative 1. All right, guys. How does that match up? Do we need to do anything else to make it look like this? Y equals MX plus B. Guess what? We've got our X's. We've got our Y's. And we've got our slope, which is negative 2. And we've got our Y intercept, which is B. And you're done. That's it. Thank you, Jeffrey. Have a lovely day in Cincinnati or wherever else you are. Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out TarverAcademy.com. Check out the Facebook page if you'd like. Oh, you get it? Like, like it. Just type in Tyler Tarver is okay and it'll pop up. Or you go to facebook.com slash Tyler is okay. Tyler's okay. Check out the Twitter. It's Tyler Tarver, my other YouTube channel. And then check out the website. Also, if you could, please subscribe to this channel. And, you know, we always appreciate a good old-fashioned share. Um, toodles.